Hi guys I am Creative Mastic back with a new tutorial. Today I am gonna teach you how to create this augmented reality sci-fi video in After Effects. First let's roll the intro. Import the footage. Create a solid of your size of your footage. Select your solid and press T for opacity and lower the opacity of your solid. Then select the pen tool and create a rough mask around the subject. Now select the solid and press M for mask properties. Add a keyframe to mask path and animate the mask. Invert the mask from Mask Properties panel and turn back opacity to 100%. Now pre-compose your footage in solid and don't forget to check move all attributes to the new composition and name the comp. I will name it Screen Isolate Tracking. Now let's track the camera movement to do that first select the comp and go to Tracker panel and click on Track Camera. Depending on your footage it will take that time to track. Once it's done you will see tracking points created the object. Now double click on the comp and delete the solid that you created. Come back to main comp select some tracking points on the object. Right click and select create solid and camera. Select the solid and press S for skill and make your solid bigger than the object. Now lower the opacity of the solid and align the solid using the transform properties of the solid. Now select pen tool and create a mask around the subject try to create mask little bigger than the subject. Go to effects and presets panel search for Gaussian blur and apply to the solid and feather the edge by 5 or 6%. Turn back its opacity to 100%. Let's create a home screen or you can say background and giving it a 3D parallax effect. Create a new comp by clicking on create new comp button in projects panel and name it background and make it the size of your previous comp. Here I have some image wick I have downloaded from Google you can take any image you like. I am trying to create space like background so I have some images of it. I will adjust the images to size of comp and blend images as you need or you can use PNG images of this. Now it's time to give images some depth. To do so convert all images into 3D layers and then click on two views horizontal in composition panel. Now align the images in 3D space as you want to give them depth, or you can follow me as I'm doing. Don't forget to scale the images to be a little bigger than the size of the comp. Now come back to your main comp and drag and drop the background comp from projects pan up to timeline. Now make it a 3D layer and parent it to the tracker solid just by holding shift and clicking and dragging slider button to the solid. Now you can see it's linked to the object. Now align the background layer is the size of your object. You can rotate and scale the background with the help of transform properties in timeline. Once you have lined the background layer drag that layer below your track layer. Now go to background layer and click on track matte box and click on alpha matte. 
This will mask your background layer to the size of mask you created on track solid. But wait, there is some problem here. You can see the background layer haven't got the depth that we created in background comp. Don't worry here you can see a star sign. This button is used to link all the effects that we created to the main comp when the layers are pre-composed. Let's move forward and create some sci-fi stuff. But before that you can see I have some black parts appearing on my screen so let's fix that. Double click on the background layer and resize the layers a little bit more. Now come back to the main comp and check again. I would like to add some shooting stars behind the curved moon in my background. Let's add that first. Let's move forward. Here is an image of weather forecast that I would like to add. I would mask it first. You can add any image or PNG that you like but make sure that the anchor point of that image or PNG is in the middle of it. If not then select the anchor point tool and align the anchor point. After that parent the image or PNG that you imported to the track solid as you did for background. Oh, sorry before parenting the layer to track solid make it a 3D layer. I would like to change the blending mode to add to give a little glowing effect or you can add a glow effect from effects and presets panel. Let's align the image to the screen size and drag it to right side to give the object a sci-fi effect. I would like to rotate it a little bit in z-axis. You can follow my steps as I am doing. Yeah, we have done it. Now let's add some more screens. Here are some screenshots of my phone which I am using. You can use any image. Resize the image and change the blending mode to add if needed. Make it a 3D layer and parent it to track solid. Now align it to the screen and drag it a little bit in Z-axis to give it a 3D effect. I would like to give it a shadow effect. To do that press Ctrl plus D and drag that image downwards in Z-axis. Turn opacity to 50% which you drag down. Now I'm going to import another screenshot of my phone and track it to left side of my object. Apply the same steps that you did for weather forecast image. Don't forget to make it a 3D layer first. One more step to be done so hold on. Compose all the image that you just added. Just click the star button that you would for the background layer to bring all the depth back. And yeah done. Now you can play with opacity and make the screens blink. As it seems to be screens are turning on. You can add any images or PNG to the object that you track. We'd love you all to see you guys in next video. Till then stay creative and don't forget to like share and subscribe and if any queries feel free to comment down below.